it's been 10 months since I did my last video, so I thought I would jump on really quickly and um, make a quick update video. Um, because despite the fact that it's been a very long year of uh, pandemic uh, across the world, um, quite a lot has changed since I last sat in my room and spoke to the five people that are watching right now. Um, what has changed? Well, my hair is blonde, mostly. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Might go pink, might go purple, who knows. Um, it's summer. And it's finally warm. Uh, I'm in London. I live in London now. I moved to London at the end of December because going into that third lockdown, which I hated, uh, I was like, well, what can I do that's drastic and spontaneous? Let's move to London. No, um, I didn't have much within my control, but I could choose where I lived at that point. And I moved in with my cousin in London. I was intending to move to London in the summer. Um, I was going to apply to PhDs and jobs down here and hope that I got one and then move afterwards. But being the idiot that I am, I decided to move in December, um, move in with my cousin. She got a puppy, <laughs> so we've had a great time. And I've got lots of really good friends in London. Obviously, I've got lots of brilliant friends in Nottingham too. Um, but it was something new, something different and something that I really wanted to do and didn't have that much control sort of during lockdowns in terms of what we could do in terms of freedom um but who you live with thankfully I, I could do that um so I did and I've slowly watched the city open up a city that I never thought I'd live in until about two or three years ago um I've been on hundreds of walks with friends but now things are starting to open up um a lot more it's been really really fun um joined a football team uh go running with my friends and going to restaurants and bars now which is really nice um and my brother lives here as well so hi sam uh <laughs> what else has changed um i got a phd offer i came down here at the end of december i was doing my final year project which i adored i was going into january exams i was working mad hours and applying to I think I applied to 10 PhDs in total, maybe more. Maybe there are a few that I've applied to that I actually haven't heard back from yet. Um, and I got one interview which turned into an offer and I got one interview that I turned down because I'd already had the offer and I really wanted it. Um, but man, that was a slog. And I knew going into it that it was going to be challenging and lots of people had told me, uh, you know, it's, you're gonna get a lot of rejections. You know, you could get so many rejections that you don't even get anything this year. You might have to try again next year. So I just kept my options open. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'll be joining the Centre for Advanced Biomedical Imaging at UCL. My PhD specifically will be looking at uh, applying machine learning to a new medical imaging technique. And that's for me is perfect because I wanted to go into something interdisciplinary, something to do with health data science uh, or medical physics or both. Um, and I wanted to do something computational and that is what I've got and I also don't lose my link to physics um, both of my supervisors are physicists so I'm really excited to join that group the director of the group as well is heavily involved in Cheltenham Science Festival so I'm really keen to push my outreach a little bit more as well so it feels like a really good fit uh, and I'm hoping that once I get my confirmation when I past my degree I'll be able to go and have coffee with them and actually meet them because at the moment I've only met them on Zoom or Teams or whichever platform we'll be using um, yeah so my exams start on Wednesday and they finish next Tuesday and then that's it five years done um, I will make another video after that and reflect a little bit more on this mad journey and it'll probably be my last video because the reason I started making these videos was to sort of act as a, a resource for people that were looking to do a second degree uh, and didn't know where to start uh, and whether or not it's feasible because I didn't see anyone uh, who had done that uh, I couldn't find much information about it I've actually met quite a few people now uh, one of the biggest things I've learned talking to all of my lecturers and physicists and friends that have gone on to do PhDs and things uh, is that everyone's got a really different journey um, that it's not just GCSE A-level 
university PhD, eight star all the way, no failures, um, which mad that I ever thought that that was the case, but it isn't. Um, so yeah, I haven't quite done it yet, but I've nearly done it. And I am very proud of myself. And I will spend the whole summer not doing any physics, just enjoying being back in the world a little bit more and seeing friends and family. Um, but yeah, I'll make another update then. Um, probably talking about how bloody brilliant the University of Nottingham is and my faculty have been amazing. So, um, but yes, there's an update. I haven't just disappeared. Um, but things are going well and I will go into a little bit more detail in a few weeks time in the summer. And now I'm going to reluctantly not go outside in the warm weather and go back to my revision. Wish me luck. <laughs>